So, tell me about yourself again. Uh, I'm Dr. Sarah Chiguli. I'm a lecturer at the Faculty of Medicine at Makere University, Uganda. Okay, and what do you do there? I work in the Department of Pediatrics. I'm the head of the department. I also coordinate the educational activities at the faculty. So I teach, I teach students, I provide clinical care for pediatric patients at the hospital, and I am also involved in research. What do you do when you, when you teach? Who, what kind of students do you teach? I teach undergraduate students, medical students, uh, right from year one but more during their clinical clerkships in pediatrics. That is when they're in year four and year five, we have a five-year program. I also teach postgraduate students or residents in pediatrics. Can you talk a little bit about yourself, where you grew up, what your home was like, and what, a, what the process was to become a physician? I grew up in, in, in a village, actually I was lucky, I grew up right in the city, in Kampala. Um, I grew up in a family headed by, by a lady, my mom. And she is, or she was a teacher. So we were able to have an education in primary schools, in the city, public schools, from primary one to primary seven. And then from there, I went for secondary education in a boarding school. Uh, I would say that I was lucky, probably because I grew up in a town as opposed to, to a village. I can also say that I was lucky because my mother had been educated. So she knew the importance of education. And she was also able to provide uh, fees for me. And at that time, the public schools were doing very well. So from secondary education, I was able to join Makere University for my medical training, which took a period of five years. And then from there, I had internship for one year. Uh, I worked as a medical officer for two years, and then went to do pediatric training uh, for three years. And I've been working in the Department of Pediatrics since I finished that training. Uh, I also trained in medical education, and uh, this has enabled me to, to teach students in a way that empowers them to learn, but also to appreciate things like community-based education so that we train away from the classroom to the communities if we are to change the lives of the communities in our country.